My, my, you'd think there was no other song in the world. Don't ever creep up on me like that again, Julian. Sorry, darling. Next time I'll announce my presence with a trumpet flourish and a drum roll. How's that? Why are we listening to that old song again? I like it. Mm. it. Does have some special import for you. Did they play that at our wedding? <laughs> Please don't make me laugh. Of course, why would you want to be reminded of a day you so bitterly regret? What does it remind you of then? <sighs> Can't I just enjoy a song without you looking for some deep hidden meaning? I don't care what you listen to, darling, but I've shared the same house, if not the same bed with you long enough to know that everything you do has a hidden meaning. What are you hiding? What is it you think I'm hiding, Julian? You tell me, Ivy. You just assume everyone is hiding something because that's the way you've always lived your life. Now I know I'm onto something. My wife always goes on the offensive when she feels threatened. Are you dining at home tonight? Because I'll take a tray in my room. Haven't you checked your appointment book lately, my dear? No, as a matter of fact. Without Therese, I can't keep my schedule straight at all. Well, so I see. Huh. I just thought that this was the year you were going to take a more active interest in the annual police department fundraiser. Well, when's the picnic? Well, the picnic is no more. They've replaced it to what they refer to as a flea market, if you can imagine. Apparently, it's the brainstorm of Chief Bennett's wife. <laughs> it's Trey Tacky, but it's this evening, and I have to put in an appearance. It's tonight? Yes, time flies when you're having fun. But I should have known. I mean, I'm the coach here. Oh, if I haven't said it quite, it's not as if you're suddenly going to start mingling with the local rabble. Unless, of course, you're in the mood to exchange apple pie recipes with the other wives. What time does it start? Unfortunately, very soon. Count your blessings, darling. No one's going to miss you at this tedious affair, least of all Grace Bennett and her hubby Sam, our chief of police. No one expected you to show up anyway. Take it any way you want, Ivy, but dare I ask what you're up to this evening? Did Bill and Hillary invite you to Din Din? <laughs> I'm going to the police benefit with you, Julian. And all this trouble for the locals, what are you up to? Oh, I know, you're planning on charming the mayor into passing a law banishing me from Harmony. Oh, no. I already tried that. Unfortunately, I couldn't get such a law passed. I should hope not. I would so miss our... Idyllic, albeit platonic, life together. You have no idea what a colossal mistake you're making, dear. You're gonna be bored to tears. No, I don't think so. I'm sure everyone's wondering just exactly what Madam Co-Chair Woman donated to the flea market. Don't worry, my pet. Pilar sent over some box of old rags that you had marked for the hospital thrift shop. Remind me to give Pilar a large bonus. Yes, and make sure it's out of your own account. Oh. Now, we we'll rely on our usual signal. When you see me discreetly tap my watch, you'll uh, use one of your gracious excuses and we'll get the hell out of this bloody awful event. Who are you looking for? I didn't mean to be so familiar, Chief Bennett. I only called your husband by his first name because he was so nice when he was at our house the other night. Well, I'm sure Sam doesn't mind. Do you, honey? No, of course not. There's no reason why we all shouldn't be on a first name basis. Wonderful. I couldn't agree more. Don't you, Julian? Mm, certainly. By the way, 
Those hats look much better on you two than they ever did on me. <laughs> I forgot I had this on. <laughs> but thank you for your generous donations, Mrs. Ivy. Well, it's the very least I could do. Grace, I was very sorry to hear about the tragic fire at your sister's house in Castleton. How's your niece doing? It's slow going, but she's coming along. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Grace, I was wondering if you had some time, could you show me around? I should know where everything is, but I'm afraid I've been remiss as your co-chair. <laughs> no, not at all. I would love to give you a tour. Why don't we start in the other room? Hmm. Wonderful. I think this is going to be our biggest year ever. Oh, Mike. Uh, Eve. Dr. Russell to you. <laughs> 